Привет, which is hello in uh, Russian. We're in Russia. Where are we, Ambassador? We're in Grenada. We are in Grenada. Yes. The Grenadian Embassy in Moscow. Yes, we are. Let's show the viewers and the readers of the Caribbean Chronicle and those who read the websites of the Bering Bellingshausen Institute something which will be in Russian, but at the same time it's going to be very Caribbean. This, this was the intro to our program, special program, which we made for Russian television on uh, the first of the conferences which we organized in Grenada between Eurasia and the Caribbean. Are you happy with what we've achieved? Yes, uh, extremely. First of all, welcome to the Embassy of Grenada, to the Russian Federation in Moscow. And as I said, you're in Grenada, so welcome to Grenada. But it's also with the flag of the Caribbean community. Because yes, it is. We are actually the only Caribbean community uh, state represented in Russian Federation. Is it, is it because of this that I've been in this embassy to receptions in honor of other Caribbean states too? Yes, we have, uh, as a matter of fact, this year we have celebrated the CARICOM day here at the embassy of Grenada and the Russian Federation and it was attended by uh, diplomats from other Caribbean states. Uh, your question was if we're happy with what we have achieved in Grenada together. Uh, starting with the first forum, integration forum that we did in 2017, which we called New Dawn. We are extremely happy. Uh, the results of the forum are still there, and uh, there is more and more attention uh, to Grenada and the Caribbean states that is coming from this region, both in trade, in tourism, cultural exchange. So we're extremely happy with what we have achieved, and uh, vice versa. It's, uh, it's, it, it goes both ways. People are more comfortable uh, with this side of the region. Um, as you know, there's tremendous influence of the West uh, that's trying to change some opinions. Uh, but uh, we're happy as a, the result of this forum and the, f and the many forums to come that, uh, that we're changing uh, people's mindsets. Last year, in fact, no, this year, we held our second forum, uh, which was a step forward because uh, other than the plenary session, we had two specialized sessions. One was with the Russian tax authority sharing its experience. Another one with the Russian government agency which uh, runs uh, agriculture imports. It doesn't run it, it controls it, which is uh, more important for exporters in the Caribbean. I am personally very proud of the fact that we enriched the cultural program too. So we had uh, presence for the National Museum in St. George's and we had this exhibition of the Russian painter Valenov, uh, evangelical uh, episodes of his uh, of his art uh, in the please remind me what was the national cathedral it was now first we uh, opened the exhibition at the new parliament building and then we moved it to the cathedral where it still is so we they they've contributed the replicas of the paintings to the cathedral where it's still displayed can I promise something to you sure uh, I hope that uh, by the time that we organize our next uh, conference in May we'll be able to bring uh, copies, of course, of the paintings from the National Gallery here. It will be extremely receptive by the people of Grenada. Uh, people of Grenada are very cultural. They love arts, as you've seen yourself firsthand. So I'm sure it's going to be appreciated. I, I must explain something about myself, mm -hmm. because we're, we're, we're chatting. Right, uh, right. I, I am a television broadcaster in my normal life. Uh, but I'm also the co-founder and president of the Bering Bellingshausen Institute for the Americas which is based in Montevideo, Uruguay, and it was with the government of Grenada that we, two years ago, launched a series of events uh, in Grenada, uh, which are nominated as Eurasia, which is this part of the world, Russia and the surrounding countries, and the Caribbean, uh, Grenada being the pillar. Uh, Launchpad. Absolutely. I was going to say a nest, but <laughs> a it's nest. actually <laughs> a launch pad, and we can continue. To, what, what else would you like me to do? Well, the more we could uh, get people to feel comfortable with each other um, and uh, obviously promote trade, investments and, and cultural experiences, the more we could uh, have the successes for these type of forums. So it's important, you know, obviously when we talk about diplomacy, diplomacy is, uh, is a result 
of people being comfortable with each other. So if we have good people to people's relationships and people are comfortable with each other, they're traveling, they're exchanging their opinions, they're exchanging uh, trade and, uh, and, and so on and so forth, the diplomacy and the job of the television personality is, is, is much easier because it's, uh, you know, people are comfortable with each other, and despite all the influence and all the press that they read. Yeah. So obviously you're doing a very important uh, job and uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. And, uh, Grenada I fell in love with your country the, the, the first day I visited. And, and as our Minister of International Business said, Grenada is open for business. Yeah. And uh, we are a launch pad for many initiatives uh, that we are collaborating on with the Russian Federation. And I also want to congratulate you on the newest appointment that you just oh, recently you. had. Yeah. Um, with the uh, international, correct me if I'm wrong, International Energy Association. It's the Global Energy Prize. Global. It's even Which is run by the... Um, Global Energy Association. I'm still president-elect. There are a couple of judicial mm -hmm. details there, uh, in order so, so that by law I, I think I'll become president in touch the wood. Uh, <laughs> we can half two weeks maybe. Uh, but essentially, it's uh, a prize for innovations in energy sector, be it traditional, be it blockchain, be it new. Mm -hmm. They're actually sub subnominations. Uh, the Money component is important, mm -hmm. so the winner gets around 600,000 US dollars. Uh, so it's a prestigious prize. It's a substantial prize. It is, but uh, my uh, vision is that, uh, and that's I think the reason why I was invited by the co-founders, is to enrich the agenda of conferences about conferences, people-to-people -people events, not just the prize, but also seminars, uh, on these new trends uh, in the energy sector. Uh, so I can't promise it now, by law I can't, mm -hmm. but uh, I will certainly explore um, an opportunity to insert an energy-related session, I think on the blue energy, first well, of all. Blue energy is what we're all about. In our next uh, conference, yeah. uh, Eurasia Caribbean. Yeah, well, again, I can't promise you anything, Ambassador, but that's, no. that's the obvious thing. I, I actually want to also, also the, to, to enlarge the area where the prize is being heard of. Uh, as of today, it's essentially Europe, the United States, and Asia. And I think Africa, Latin America, the Caribbean are there and should be involved in, in a better way. Um, can I ask you something? We have... Um, uh, talking about energy, uh, we have uh, a potential new sponsor for our events. Uh, it's Gazprom Neft, a leading uh, Russian energy company, which, by the way, not part of the of the uh, foundation which I've just mentioned. And we, with them, interestingly, are launching a series of events which are not energy related, but are related to the Second World War, because in this country, the 75th anniversary of the end of the war, which is May next year is a sacred date. Uh, despite me having visited Grenada three times now, four, uh, I am not aware. Is there a World War II agenda in Grenada? Well, there is a, a monument, which is right in front of the ministerial complex uh, in memory of uh, fallen soldiers. And I believe we have four fallen soldiers uh, that are Grenadian uh, that have passed away during the World War II. So Grenada is an unknown ally, so to say. Yes, of course, through the IBC. Uh, Commonwealth effort. Uh -huh. Why don't we organize also something related to Second World we War? We should and we welcome that and uh, obviously people should uh, remember of the sacrifices made not just by uh, uh, Russians or Europeans but there were sacrifices made by Caribbeans and as you know there was other instances where the Caribbean has suffered through the World War II. Um, and, and an idea which has just emerged uh, we did something similar in Honduras and in Cuba for the 70th anniversary five years ago. We, as the institute, produced diplomas, which we, which we handed to veterans. They're, st they're still veterans in Honduras uh, and in Cuba, or to the relatives of them. Why don't, don't, why don't we do the same in Grenada? We welcome this, and we will try to locate... Identify uh, the veterans. Identify the veterans or the surviving families, uh -huh. and it will be a nice gesture uh, from the institute and from the sponsors to present such initiative and present such diplomas in memory 
of the 75th anniversary of the victory of World War II. You're an ambassador plenipotentiary, so you approve yes. this idea. Yes, I do. I Good. sincerely Good. approve it because uh, it's an important thing. You know, we should remember the past because we could only become better in the future if you remember the past. Since you opened that embassy, um, what have you achieved? Well, we have achieved a lot, I believe. We have uh, strengthened the ties between uh, Grenada and the Russian Federation. We have uh, collaborated on a lot of different uh, uh, platforms, not just political platforms, but uh, uh, on the trade platforms. We have uh, enhanced trade between the countries. We have started uh, uh, bringing in uh, coca beans, Grenadian coca beans, to, to Russian Federation. There's actually a local manufacturer here that's already manufacturing chocolates uh, utilizing Grenadian coca beans. We're in the process of uh, uh, finishing several contracts for rum, for Grenadian rum. Uh, we're in the process of negotiating several, uh, and when I say negotiating, it's not us personally. We're assisting entrepreneurs from both sides and connecting the entrepreneurs from both sides to negotiate deals among themselves. We as an embassy is not a trade association by any kind, but we connect entrepreneurs from both countries to make these type of arrangements. And uh, uh, Nutmeg, obviously, is also an important product of Grenada. We're also uh, bringing entrepreneurs together to work on that product as well. Have you ever tried to calculate the results of your job, of your work here, in, uh, in jobs created in Grenada? Not yet. I think it's too soon, but we will. Uh, during the last uh, budget speech that just happened several weeks ago, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Grenada has uh, noticed our achievements and brought it up to the, to the cabinet and uh, shared with them some of the statistics on how much of uh, uh, coca beans and, and uh, alcohol has been uh, imported into the Russian Federation. And he said that we're just scratching the, fir uh, uh, the, the, scratching the surface. We are the, we're the we're a young embassy, the youngest embassy and the youngest diplomatic mission uh, that Grenada has. Um, and uh, we hope we're going to achieve more. And that's just on the trade side. We also, cultural exchanges have been tremendous. We have recently, uh, together with National Geographic, had a, a photo exhibition under the open skies and in the center of Moscow, uh, on Nikolska Street. Uh, we have been doing other cultural exchanges and cultural festivals between the countries. So the cultural ties are becoming more and more uh, deeper than they were before. Uh, there's more visitors from the Russian Federation to Grenada. Uh, there's more visitors from Grenada to the Russian Federation. Um, so we're doing a lot. We're, we're promoting scholarships in, in the Russian Federation to Grenadians. And also, you know, there were was, there was several other initiatives. Uh, um, a company called Schwabe uh, from, the, from the Russian Federation has uh, donated uh, medical equipment to Grenada. Um, it's uh, it's uh, also an important gesture from the Russian Federation. So we're, we're doing what we can. Uh, we're deepening the relationships and we're promoting people-to-people uh, -people initiatives. The reason why I was glancing away now, I was trying to calculate how many persons I brought to Grenada yes. within the framework of our conferences. Mm -hmm. And I think I can proudly say that uh, up to 50 Russian nationals, I if think. not more. I think, I think it's there will be more. Have you visited Grenada? Uh, on the platform of our conferences, but they were, you know, they were business delegates, but at the same time they were tourists. Correct. So, you know. Well, and <coughs> people don't realize that, you know, if you come on business, you are a tourist first and foremost. In the Caribbean. Because you're, people in you're the Caribbean are used to the beaches and, uh, and the right, sea. Right, but <laughs> but they're, they're coming, you know, obviously they want to explore opportunities, but first and foremost, they're spending money as a tourist and they're counted as a tourist. Um, because they're obviously not coming in right away to do business because they don't know what business they're going to be doing. But they're coming in as a tourist first and foremost and then they're exploring opportunities and hopefully come back again. And many of those 50 that you mentioned uh, came back several times. Yeah, they have. Very lastly, I was, I'm going to ask you a complicated favor. Uh, well, yes, I'm Russian, but my institute, <coughs> as the co-organizer of our conferences, is Uruguayan-based and Uruguayan-registered. Now, Uruguay is the country where, back in 1930, the first ever FIFA World Cup was played. Mm -hmm. So when the FIFA World Cup was played in Russia, what we did, we took soil from the stadium in Montevideo, Uruguay, where the final of the first ever FIFA World Cup was played. We brought the soil here, and we distributed that sacred soil between the stadia in St. Petersburg, in Moscow, and in Samara. Uh, 
It was a complicated operation because <laughs> if you talk to customs, customs are par paranoid about you know soil and, and fruit and vegetable. Uh, so we managed to do that uh, with the help of uh, the Russian Foreign Ministry. If we ever offer such a thing uh, for the football stadium in Grenada, uh, would you consider this, uh, this offer? I'm not asking you for a yes, it's, it's, it's a difficult operation, but would you consider us and, and help us? I am uh, very open to that. I'll do what I can. Uh, we'll obviously have to speak to the Minister of Sports and youth, and uh, it could be done. Good. Very Good. optimistic that it could be done. Good. So we will strengthen also the Uruguay, Uruguayan Grenadian region. And it's a, it's a winning soil, so it should bring it luck. It is. It is. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you, Ambassador, and see you in Grenada. Yes, in we May. shall see you in May. We are meeting in May. Yes, we are. And welcome, sure. everyone, to the conference. Yeah, welcome to the conference. Those of you that are interested to come, we're open to all, and as I said, we're open for business. We're. Uh, very friendly country and a launch pad for many initiatives. And we'll open a joint website once again. Yes, we will. As soon as we have the content ready, we'll open the site and uh, it will be open to all to visit. It's sgc.gd. Good. See you soon. See you soon.